Hey guys, so I know that I haven't uploaded in about two weeks and I'm really sorry for that. But the reason I haven't been uploading is because I was really, really sick. I am still actually kind of a bit sick. So I do have a new gaming channel which will be linked in the description box if you guys are into games, that kind of thing. Then just um, go check out that channel and subscribe if you like it. <clears throat> So today's video I thought I would do a Rimmel lipstick collection slash swatch video. Um, I don't have very many Rimmel lipsticks because I've used loads and I just haven't repurchased them or I've lost some. But Rimmel is like my favourite lipstick brand. I'm not even joking. It is my favourite brand for lipsticks. Uh, drugstore brand that is. I haven't tried any high-end lipsticks um, but drugstore brand. Definitely. So I have um, six right now from different collections. So I'm going to start from the lightest to the darkest and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it and what I think about those lipsticks. So I'm going to start off with my lightest um, Rimmel lipstick. and It's from the original line, so like Rimmel standard um, permanent line. And it's from the lasting finish it's one of the last and finished lipsticks, so the ones in the kind of um, browny burgundy packaging, or what what would you call it, like a maroon purpley packaging, if you guys can see in the light, that's kind of what it looks like. And this is in the colour 006 Pink Blush, which was a cult favourite on YouTube um, a few years ago, and that's where I actually seen it and decided I wanted to try it. Um, plus pink is one of my favourite colours to wear on my lips. So I'm going to swatch it. As you can see I use this pretty much every day and it's kind of just a little little bitty stub. But I'm going to um, repurchase it. So. So that's what that one looks like. As you can see, it can kind of cling to any cracks in your lips, dry cracked lips, but I love this lipstick. It is one of my favourite colours. They're really affordable. I love this and I will be repurchasing it. It is like one of my go-to colours, especially coming into spring slash summer. So the next colour I have is from the Kate Moss um, Coral line, I think it is. Um, it's just a coral type of line that Kate Moss came out with with Rimmel. It's in a matte black packaging with the coral um, Kate signature. So the one I have is in number 16, which again is like a pinky peach kind of colour and just looks like this. Uh, again, I really, really like these. They're really nice uh, on the lips. And these ones smell kind of like um, sweets. I can't remember what kind of sweets they smell like, but they, they smell like sweets. So I'm just going to put this one on. Um, this one feels a lot softer on the lips, so that's just a close-up of what it looks like. If you guys can see. So again, I really, really like these coral ones but I can only really wear them during spring and summer, whereas I wear this pink one pretty much all year round. So that's that one. From the original line again, the kind of burgundy brown packaging. This is in the colour 022 Nostalgia. So that's what it looks like. I like the fact that the stickers on the bottom of Rimmel lipsticks kind of correspond with the colour in the tube. So this is kind of more of a darker coral than the last one I showed you. I'll show you them side by side so you can kind of see the difference. Um, it's only like two shades darker maybe, maybe only a shade. But again, it's more of a coral pink where the other one was more of a coral peach. This is more of an everyday coral that you could wear pretty much any time during the year. on the lips. It is pretty true to colour. Um, I do really really like that lipstick but again I don't necessarily reach for that colour as often as I probably should. It's not really 
the kind of color I go for. I actually don't know why I bought it, to be honest, when I had one that was pretty similar. So the next color I have is from the Rimmel um, Kate Moss Matte line, which is the red and black packaging with the black Kate signature. And this is in the color zero, or this is in the color 101, which is an everyday Your Lips Only Better pink, as you can see. I have a NYX lipstick very similar to this in Paris. Um, but yeah, that's just what it looks like. It's a matte lipstick. So that's what that one looks like. As you can tell, it is quite drying because it is a matte lipstick, so it does stick to any flakes on your lips or any cracks. Um, because it is a matte. Next one I have is from the Moisture Renew line, which is this really gorgeous metallic purple packaging. And I have this in the color 180 Vintage Pink. I did have a nude one in Nude Delight, which was amazing. It was my favorite nude, but I, I lost it and I can't find it anywhere. But it was my favorite nude lipstick. So if you can get your hands on Nude Delight, um, I think it's number 700 from the Moisture Renew line, pick it up, it is amazing. So this is in the color Vintage Pink. It's like a really nice mauve pink, perfect for winter time. Um, I wear this a lot during winter and I pair it with a buxom lip gloss I have in, I think it's Dare or something, I don't remember the name of it, but it's just so pretty. I also have a Rimmel Vinyl um, lip gloss that I wear with this in Snog. It's so beautiful. But like I said, this is just a really nice mauve pink. Um, the Moisture Renew line is amazing. They're, the lipsticks are so moisturizing and so nourishing on your lips. They don't cling or anything. They're just really nice. That's just what that one looks like. They are so nourishing, they glide on the lips, they are amazing. I don't know why I don't own more of these, um, I really do need to pick some more up. If you guys have any colour suggestions on what colours in the Moisture Renew line that you guys like, leave them in the comments below and I will try them out. So the last lipstick I have is my Darkest Lipstick by Rimmel and it's from the original Kate Moss line, which is the black packaging with the red Kate signature and this is in the color 01 which is a gorgeous blood red lipstick. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while you would have seen this in a couple of different videos. I love this lipstick. It is phenomenal. I don't wear red lipstick but this one I feel like I can really pull off even when I had blonde hair. I still wore this lipstick and it looked phenomenal. So um, I think any skin tone, any hair colour, you could really pull this off. So that's just what that one looks like. So as you guys can tell, hopefully, this one doesn't cling to any dry areas on your lips, it doesn't sink into your cracks, it just looks amazing. Now, I don't wear this with a lip gloss, I think it looks amazing by itself. It's not entirely matte, it does have a bit of a sheen to it. If you're looking for a true red colour that you don't want to dry out your lips, I would definitely, definitely recommend this one. It retails for under seven euro, I think, and that's really an amazing price for a lipstick this good. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this. It's one of my all-time favorite lipsticks and it just, it feels good on your lips. So um, that's what I would recommend. The only thing with the Rimmel lipsticks is the stain power. I find the stain power isn't that great. Um, with the darker colors like this red, it does stay a little bit better and this one stays a little bit better than the lighter ones. I, t I can tell they kind of tend to wear pretty easily. 
But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave in the comments down below what your favourite Rimmel lipsticks are. Also, if you like these kind of swatch videos, then please let me know what other brands you'd like me to do. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!